Hi there, Aquarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the month of March. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them out in a Celtic cross. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. First up, we have the Ten of Cups in the reverse position, followed then by the Queen of Pentacles upright, and then we have the King of Wands in the reverse position, followed then by the Three of Wands upright, and then we have the Five of Wands in the reverse position, followed then by the Major Arcana of the Sun upright. And next we have the Two of Pentacles in the upright, followed by the Six of Cups upright. And next we have the Queen of Swords upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the High Priestess in the upright. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and interpret this reading for you guys. First of all, for your overall energy, Aquarius, you have the Ten of Cups in the reverse position. Now, the Ten of Cups upright, beautiful energy. This represents uh, emotional abundance, feeling really good. Sometimes this card can represent, you know, a wedding, getting together with a bunch of family members, friends, that kind of thing, and having a really, really jolly old time. <laughs> Uh, sometimes this can represent uh, real happiness and abundance that come to the family, such as maybe a birth in the family, that kind of thing where everybody gets together and is feeling really good and emotionally uh, happy and upbeat. Uh, however, when it's in the reverse position, it's still good energy because uh, the you know there is emotional abundance there. But sometimes this can this card can come up when there's been a little bit of an upset in the home or say. It's a wedding gone bad. <laughs> that kind of thing where, you know, somebody could be causing a ruckus uh, in the home and, you know, it's just sort of like a glitch. It's not, like I said, it's, it's still very good energy. It's by no means bad energy. It's just when it's in the reverse, um, it can sometimes indicate there is a little bit of an upset going on in the home or in the family or neighborhood situation. Now, it's... The crossing card you have here is the Queen of Pentacles in the upright position. Queen of Pentacles is um, a court card, so it could be some of you are dealing with a earth sign, which is um, Capricorn, Taurus, or uh, Virgo. Now, this person could be important to you in your your life. Uh, maybe this is a, a b representing a boss, a parent, or a best friend, or even a spouse. Because it could be male or female. Remember, the cards are not gender specific. And it's going to be different for all of you. So if you're not dealing with uh, this isn't a person playing a part in your life, then this could be uh, representing the Queen of Pentacles as energy like you be feeling like the queen of pentacles and that's not bad because the queen of pentacles is a very stable person and she's also um financially uh abundant so she knows how to deal with money this could be a banker even for some of you maybe some of you are dealing with the bank over anything from a mortgage to a loan or so forth and if this is a banker a real estate person or something like that you're doing well with this person this person is doing right by you so we have that going on um, for your main energies. Now, in your past card, this is your history. This is not something that happened yesterday. It could be like a month or two ago. Um, some of you could have been dealing with the King of Wands in the reverse position. The, uh, the King of Wands is um, a court card, so it could be... Um, a fire sign you were dealing with, maybe an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Uh, the King of Wands, when he's in the upright position, this is some. Uh, he's a go-getter. This is somebody in business can definitely represent a, a father or a business partner or something like that. Um, it's somebody in authority, a bit uh, boss. Um, when he's in the upright, this is somebody who's uh, taking action and making moves and so forth. When he's in reverse, however, he could be taking no action at all. So maybe some of you, this could have been even a spouse for some of you. Maybe this person was supposed to do some things around the house or in some area, even a business partner or something like that, and they didn't do it, or a boss, maybe you were trying to get them to do something on your behalf and they just didn't do anything for you. But luckily, that energy is in the past now. It's giving way to the energies of the Three of Wands in the upright position. Now, this is moving out of February into the month of March. And... Um, we're dealing with uh, the Three of Wands energy is very good because this is, it could be that some of you have left the month of February 
um, already embarking on a new plan because the three of wands is all about that. That's when we're taking steps to actually uh, move forward in uh, a plan of action that we're planning on taking. Like we could have already constructed the plan and now we're actually implementing it. Um, this is this is moving forward in uh, in a direction that we're actually wanting to go because the next step is the four of wands where we have arrived. So this is very good energy to come into the month of March with and that energy will be giving way to uh, your future energies, which is your immediate future energies, which is the sun in the upright position. Very happy to see this for you, Aquarius. The sun in the upright position is all about uh, having new vitality, a new lease on life, feeling really good, feeling um, this is about success and attainment and victory as well. It's a card of victory. So definitely beautiful energy to see the three of wands followed by the sun. It looks like you're moving forward in some area of your life that's very, uh, very important to you because the sun is major arcana. Now, it's going to play out different for, for all of you. Some of you, this is a relationship situation. Others of you, this is a job situation. So no matter how you slice it, Aquarius, it's very nice energy. Now, moving on towards the middle of the month, you have the energies of the um, Five of Wands in the reverse position. I always prefer to see this card reversed because when it's upright, this can be a card representing uh, conflicts, petty conflicts, drama, um, uh, but it's also a card of competition when it's in the reverse we're coming out of that so it could be that maybe in the middle of the month Aquarius maybe somebody's trying to drag you now this could be co-workers this could be family friends anybody somebody could be trying to drag you in the middle of their drama but it looks like you want no part of it so that is uh, really good good for you good for you guys it looks like you're staying away from that and and w why would you want to get involved with it when you've got all this beauty going on <laughs> Now, the next position is where, uh, like how you will be feeling in the month of March, but this is not the face that you show to the world. This is just how you may be feeling internally um, in the month of March. And you have the Two of Pentacles in the upright position. Two of Pentacles generally speaks of uh, harmony in the midst of change. So maybe there is some major change going on in your life, in some area of your life, but you're having not a lot of difficulty coping with it, it looks like. So you will be, and the Two of Pentacles is also a card of balance. It's just you're balancing things out and you're not really struggling with it. So you're going to be feeling maybe quite balanced in the months in the month of March and if there is any major changes going on it doesn't look like it's going to affect you too you know harshly so that's very good now in your people environment you have the card of the blast from the past the good old six of cups also known sometimes as the soulmate card this can be um, someone who comes back from the past uh, maybe somebody that you used to date and you know the one that got away so to speak maybe this person is returning into your life and um you know you're going to have another chance to um, be together with this person for others of you this could just be representing um maybe getting together with old friends from the past that you haven't seen in a long time and really enjoying some good times um others of you it could just be about reminiscing about good times from the past no matter how you slice it i do like this energy the six of cups in the upright is very nice energy and moving on to hopes and fears you have the queen of swords in the upright position now for me i believe this is a, a hope the queen of swords is air energy it is aquarius energy so this is you guys um wanting to i think stand in your truth maybe you're hoping in a situation any given situation maybe that you're able to stand up and uh speak your truth and the whole truth and not mince your words <laughs> and hopefully in any situation you're dealing with you can you know come into your own because the queen of swords is you coming into your own so maybe it's you um you know and she's mastered her suit she knows how to communicate and and communicate effectively so 
maybe you're hoping that if you know need be in any situation that you'll be able to come into your own and be able to speak your truth now the last card you have closing out the read in the month is major arcana the high priestess in the upright position this is um the High Priestess mainly speaks of uh, tapping into our intuition. For any of you that do do uh, meditation, this is a very good idea. I think maybe at the end of the month, because if you're struggling with anything, Aquarius, uh, during the month of, of uh, March, there may be some things that you don't really understand or can't really... Maybe there's a lot of changes going on in your life and you can't really, uh, you know figure out what is going on or put your finger on something or you know well because this is about hidden things sometimes hidden knowledge and the only way for us to find out what's really going on sometimes is we need to go within tap into our intuition and listen and that's where the answers will come so <coughs> excuse me <coughs> i hope this reading helped you Aquarius, if it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye for now, guys.